Yo, what is up, guys? It's Circle back with a brand new video. Today, we're gonna be hopping into some Tarkov today. So, but first, I want to um, today I'm gonna be um, explaining some uh, solo tips for you guys to use during your raids, solo raids. So, um, I know I've seen a lot of footage of people playing solo, and they're not quite as good. Um, so, so I just wanted to help you guys out for those who are struggling in solos. So, um, be Myself personally, when I first started playing uh, EFT, I was really bad at solo. I could never do good unless I was with one or two person people in my raids. So um, I'm gonna help you guys out today doing solo raids. So first thing we're gonna start off with is um, always go with the silencer. And if you don't have enough for a silencer, um, I definitely say save up. It's it'll be worth it in the long run for sure. Because using a silencer will not only secure your position in raid, but it would it will alert enemies, or sorry, keep enemies guessing. Because you know, in a raid, you in a raid as a squad, if you're going if you're going as a full squad and you shoot one one bullet, that is okay because you got your teammates to back you up. In solo, that's a bit more difficult dealing with squads. So that is also another reason why to bring a, a silencer. The last reason is is because um because when you're shooting the gun, as you know when you put a compensator or something like that on the muzzle, it'll create a lot of flash. So that's why you put the wave MB that I have here, the wave B MB on the gun to suppress or I guess muzzle the flash on the gun when you shoot, so you're not seeing as much flares coming out of the muzzle. Okay, so the next reason is or the next tip for you guys as solos is. Always overpack. Don't be afraid to overpack. So, say you're going solo and you're bringing only one Salua. Definitely bring at least another, two more AI2s because AI2s do heal fast, but they don't recover any fractures or any bleeding at all. But this is a quick way to heal your arms really quick when you're in a fight. Quick fight. So, you'll need steady arms. So, bring those two. Use one for each arm. That way you're not wasting too much off your Salua because you'll need it for the rest of your torso and your thorax and your head. So basically, the spine and everywhere down here, except for your arms, you can use AI2s there. We heal them up and you're ready to go. Next tip I want to let you guys know is when you guys are playing, definitely always relocate after you take a shot. So after you take one shot, always reposition because That'll keep your enemy guessing on your location and your pause. So always relocate. Um, this help. This has helped me every time I've done this, and it helps me a lot. Uh, I don't know how many times I have to say it, it. It has saved my life from repositioning. And the enemy, even when when I killed them, they probably didn't even know where they got shot from. Plus, the silencer on the gun would have kept my position muzzled. So yeah, that is another good reason. Next reason is to bring good body armor. I know a lot of people don't like to bring good body armor because they might, they might, they may be not good. Uh, they're not enough on money. But the thing is, I suggest is between your PMC, do your scav runs. That way, you have a little money when you come out of that raid. You have a little money to buy better body armor to put towards the, and sell the body armor you have currently, and save it and put it towards the next one. So yeah. Next thing I want to let you guys know about is always use Comtex. Comtex is a big part of this game. It can save your life sometimes, you know, because it depends. It's your own preference which Comtex you like to use, but um, it's definitely it's it's definitely a lifesaver sometimes because when you don't have Comtex, you can never hear. You basically can't hear anything except for your footsteps, your jumps, your own personal movements. But if you have Comtex on, it could be this. Um, G GSSH or 6SSH, I think. Is it GSH? I'm not sure. These ones. GSSH 01. So these are not as good. I prefer because the sounds are a lot more dull and they're a lot more uh, based or bassed. I'm not sure. Pump text, it makes the sound a lot more sharper. Um, Swordens, it makes the sound more amplified. I, I prefer Swordens personally or Pump text. And the tactical sport, I don't personally use it, so I wouldn't know the um, the benefits of using it. So yeah. So the next thing I want to let you guys know when you guys are going solo is 
if you're going to bring snipers, please bring a pistol or at least a small automatic SMG gun, MP9. MP9s are currently going for 19 to 23k, so those are fairly cheap. You can put some PSD GZH. It can help you because if you're in a close quarter battle and you're, if you're on dome, somewhere like that on reserve, and you get caught with your pants down, you're done. You're dead. Because there's no saving yourself or bring a pistol even. It could be a 5.7. 5.7s are pretty expensive right now. They're like 28 to 32k. Um, or bring like a Glock or something like that. Something, something good, good to use. So yeah, um, I don't know how many times I've died to um, actually not bring a sidearm or um, a secondary weapon with me with a sniper. So yeah, don't bring a bring a bring a secondary weapon. All right. So the second from last tip I'm here to give you guys is always, always bring nades. Because nades can save you a lot, a lot of times. It can save you probably more than weapons. Definitely. Because say you're on factory, right? Say you're on factory. And you don't have nades. And you need to reload, but you need to repack mechs. Just cover cover yourself and repack nades while you heal yourself. There is a there is a small hack or a little glitch where you can you can heal yourself and repack mags at the same time. So do that also. So you gotta heal yourself first. And you gotta repack mags at the same time after you start healing. So yeah. And the last and the last tip for you guys today is I I'd say if you're a new player, I'd suggest uh, playing with Sherpas. Honestly, they can guide you through the rounds easily. I I had some help with a Sherpa from J Dog the Wise Wisism server um like a month ago or two months ago when I nearly when I first started playing the game, which was. Four months ago, so I didn't quite know about Sherpas until after three months of playing the game. So Sherpas, I I wish I known about Sherpas earlier. Sherpas help you so much, guys. Um, Sherpas are definitely the best out there. They're free, free, um, free guidance. It's all free. I wouldn't use. I wouldn't. If you guys have heard ads on YouTube like Legion, Legion, um, it's a Tarkov, it's a Tarkov, I guess assistance, um, program. Or a service, so I wouldn't say it's using it. Just uh, ask a Sherpa. Honestly, it's on uh, official server for EFT, so just go tag a Sherpa or something, something like that. There, I think they have an official Discord. If you guys want to go check it out, in somewhere in one of the tabs, one of the important tabs. So yeah, definitely go check that out, guys. And yeah, um, so this this has been the end of the video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. If I missed anything, please comment down below, cause I do miss some stuff as I am not. I'm, I definitely, as you can see, I don't have them, that many hours on the game. I have nearly 760. So that's, I'm, I'm aiming for a thousand. Um, definitely I'd say around 60 of the hour, 60, 60 hours of the game is definitely idling from eating and stuff. So yeah, going out somewhere, just leaving the game on idle. So yeah, so that's around 700 hours, honestly. So yeah, so I really hope you enjoyed guys. Um. Please comment, like I said, please comment down below if I missed anything. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.